I'm going to show you how to build a basic beehive from a rectangular 5 gallon water bottle. You will first add this bottle to the modified swarm trap we already made to catch our bees, then later join it with other bottles as our colony grows. This video will use a rectangular bottle with screw top lid that is commonly available. If you haven't watched my video on whether to use round or square bottles, be sure to watch that. Let's get started. You are going to cut the spout end of the bottle, drill the main passageway, cut and screen protected vents, and make the magic tube that connects the bottle to the swarm trap. Where you cut the bottle is very important. You want to cut where the smaller diameter of the bottle meets the curve leading to the wider diameter. This is most critical near the handle. There isn't too much room for error here. Try to cut at this point all the way around the bottle. If you stray, it is better to stay on the flat part of the inner diameter than run up the curve. You can use either a box knife or a hacksaw. See the round bottle video for another example of this cut. A well-lit area will help you so that you can use the reflection off the bottle to help guide you. With the top removed, flip the bottle over and drill a 2 and 1 8 inch hole in the bottom of the bottle. You probably won't need a pilot hole as the hole saw is a pretty good fit for the space that is available. Test fit the spout through the hole that you just drilled. It should fit nicely. In the next video, I will show you how to build top bars for your rectangular hive. Stay tuned to the end for a list of the materials that you will need. You will cut ovals in the ledge above and on either side of the handle. Measure out one half inch from the handle and mark in the center of the ledge. From there, measure out another inch and a quarter and mark again. Drill pilot holes in these locations. Widen the pilot holes using a three quarter inch drill bit or a step drill. Using a box knife, cut between the holes to make a nicely shaped oval, then widen the end nearest the handle. Don't cut into the sides or curved areas of the bottle, but stay on the flat part of the shelf. Cut two pieces of window screen slightly larger than the vent openings that you just cut out. Carefully place a bead of hot glue around the inner rim of the vent opening and press the screen into place. Let this harden completely. Next, bend the screen over the hole. Carefully run a bead of hot glue around the rest of the opening on the shelf area and press the screen down into the molten glue. After this is dried, cover up any spots that have raw edges of screen showing so that you don't snag yourself on these in the future. Can you guess why I'm going to have you buy a 96 cent sippy cup in a future video? Put your guess in the comments below. The following steps are only required if you are using a modified swarm trap to get your bees into the bottle. If you already have bees and know how you are going to get them into the bottle, you don't need to make the tube. If you don't know about the modified swarm trap, watch my video. Finally, we are going to make a pipe that will connect the bottle to the swarm trap. Cut the bottom off that 2 liter bottle. Using a box knife or a cheap pair of dollar store scissors, cut the remaining tube and lay the plastic out flat. If you will be using both square and round bottle hives, measure up three and three quarter inches, draw a line and cut across. If you will only be using round bottles, you can measure up two and a half inches instead. Using the lid of the swarm trap as a guide, roll the plastic into a tube so that it just fits through the hole. This should be almost exactly two layers thick. Tape near one end. Flip the tube around, check the fit in the hole, and tape near the other end. Double check that the tube will barely slide all the way through the hole. Lift the upper layer of the plastic tube near the center and shoot a small dab of hot glue under it, then press the outer layer down, thus gluing the tube in the center. A word of warning, the glue is hot enough to melt or shrink the plastic. Next, pull the inside layer of the tube towards the center. Again, shoot a small dab of glue under it, then press the layers together. Doing this from the inside ensures that you won't have a big lump on the outside when you slide the bottle on and off the bucket trap. Repeat at the other end of the tube. You should be able to remove the tape once the glue has hardened. 
Test fit the tube through both the hole in the bucket lid as well as the hole in the bottom of the bottle. The tube may not be completely round, but the end should pass through with slight pressure near the seam of the tube. Place the bucket lid on a flat surface with the top pointing up. Press the connecting tube through the hole so that it bottoms out on the flat surface and is perpendicular to the bucket. Place a small dot of hot glue at three or four spots to temporarily hold the tube to the lid. Once those dots have hardened, flip the lid over and start to glue the tube to the lid. If you just try to put a lot of glue all the way around in one shot, the tube will start to shrink. Instead, take some time and put a little on one side, then move to the opposite side. Let both areas harden and cool, then repeat the process until you have a complete ring of glue all the way around. Don't worry if the tube has shrunken inward a little bit near the edges, but you want this joint to be completely filled with glue so that it will be watertight. Put the lid on the bucket and test fit the bottle into it by sliding the bottle over the tube. Note that the rectangular bottle sits flat on the top of the swarm trap. Although you might be able to attract a swarm with this arrangement, in the next video I will show you how to continue the construction of the hive bottle to make it more attractive to bees, thus increasing your chances of attracting a swarm.